Jonathan's uh, Off the Block blog, and uh, we're speaking to George Mason, head coach uh, Stack. Uh, congratulations on your thrilling fourth set uh, victory over uh, Ohio State at Ohio State. Uh, what are your emotions after the uh, big victory? You know, I, I, I told the guys afterwards it's really easy for coaches to get sucked up into the fact that you beat a big team like Ohio State and in their house and you know it's but the reality is this is what we practice for this is what we do and you know I, I'm I'm proud of my guys don't get me wrong I'm glad we won and I and I like the way we played Ohio State's a very good program um, but the reality is is that we knew you know all year long that we can compete with the biggest and best teams we just had to go out and execute and I thought that's what we did well tonight we executed well we served well we passed well. Uh, we played block and defense really well. So, you know, those, those are just those are the things that we've been trying to do in practice, and they just came together tonight and we executed. So that's the fruits of our labor. Well, let's dig into the uh, match uh, set by set. Uh, set. Both teams had an extremely high rate. You guys really had no errors in the first set. Um, how did you guys uh, pull that out of uh, being so competitive? Well, we pass well, and when you pass well, that makes their servers maybe kind of press a little bit more, and I think, you know, we kind of took them by surprise a little bit. They didn't maybe think we could pass some of the serves as well as we did, but, you know, they're a well-coached team. You know, Pete Hansen and Tim Emba and, and Kevin Birch, they do such a nice job of, you know, making sure that that team is prepared, and, you know, we just came in in the night, and, and I thought we had a game plan that was going to be successful if we just did it right, and, and fortunately it went our way. Um, in the second set, uh, obviously, Ohio State took that. Do you think they figured you guys out, or do you think you guys just uh, had a letdown? Why did why did uh, or what do you think Ohio State pulled out the second set? Well, we we had eleven unforced errors in that second game alone, and that's you know that's the difference right there. We just we tried to get a little cue. We we got out to a slow start, and we tried to get a little bit sharper, a little hit down, a little harder. You know, when you try to press like that, you know, the good teams are not going to chase you. and they, They'd let us make mistakes. And so, you know, we just reminded them, hey, it's, it's a 0-0 zero, zero start next game. And, you know, remember the game plan. Remember what we're trying to do. And, and we went back out in that third game, and I thought we just played real steady volleyball. Let's fast forward to the fourth uh, set. Um, obviously, you guys dominated that set. Um, I believe it, at one point it was 12-7, uh, and then you guys uh, finished the uh, set on the uh, 13-4 run, um, do you feel like Ohio State kind of just um, gave up at that point, or do you guys feel like you just um, have felt that you, you tasted some blood and you just um, just uh, wanted to finish them off? I, I think it's real easy to get lost into the whole thing of, well, Ohio State, you know, just kind of gave up. Ohio State's never going to get up. That's a two-time defending national champion right there, and a lot of those guys were part of those teams. They're not giving give up. You know, somebody came up to me afterwards, one of the one of the um, TV guys, and he said, you know, w- what was your thought when they were spraying these balls over the place? And the reality was we were we were blocking so well and slowing things down they had to get a little sharper and they had a little, you know, tighter angles and they had to, you know, try to make something happen because we were just slowing them down. And that's, you know, we've been working on our transition, you know, all summer or all year long. And tonight was how it's supposed to be executed. And so, you know, I, I don't think that anybody gave up and I don't think that it's an upset. I think it's a team, two teams that are well coached and they're doing the things that they can in order to be successful. And tonight was just in our favor. Obviously, um, Jake Haynes for Ohio State has uh, been getting the line chair of the uh, attacks for uh, Ohio State. Um, what was your game plan to limit him tonight? Or was it uh, your game plan to kind of have him have his but limit everybody else? You know, the the the, the statement I said to everybody was, you're, you're not going to stop Jake Haynes. You, you, you can only hope to kind of slow him down a little bit and make everybody else have to play the game. And I think that's what we did. I mean, I think in the fourth game when they pulled him out, he was still hitting well above 300. We just, you know, we had his number and he was trying to press a little harder than normal and, you know, we were making some digs and slowing him down and, and that's that's what good teams do. You know, my team I've been telling people all year long, <laughs> good team. We just, you know, we got to find our way and we got to execute and be disciplined and tonight was just that was one of those nights. I know you, um, uh, 
texted about uh, Bart and a lot of respect for them. So um, you play them, you play Irvine. What did those matches really give you guys in terms of uh, experience and to uh, succeed tonight? Well, when you play good teams, they're going to make you play good volleyball. And, you know, I've been telling people, you know, Barton's going to be one of those teams that later on in the year, they're going to surprise the people. And sure enough, tonight they beat Grand Canyon in five. And that's a good win for that program. And that, that is going to fire them up even more. And man, if you've got them on your schedule in the next few weeks or the next month or so, you know, you, you better not overlook them. They may say Conference Carolina, but Barton is a very, very good team. And the same thing with our team. You know, Irvine, we, we love playing Irvine. We love playing good programs. We like playing programs that are going to make us have to work hard. We like getting bloody. You know, we, we like getting into a fight. We like feeling how it feels at the end of a match when you go toe-to-toe with somebody to, to be on the other side, win, lose, or draw. You know, those are, those are the matches that we love being in, and those are the teams that we like playing against. So, you know, I, I mentioned to everybody earlier in this week that this was going to be a weekend that some people were going to take notice of some smaller teams that maybe weren't getting some love. And hopefully those uh, this weekend reflects that when it comes out with any polls next week. Well, thank you for what I said. The block blogging, writing from the victory and all that upset. Not that upset. No, they didn't call it a year. Thanks, John. I appreciate it. You're cutting out a little bit there, so just I'm going to say thank you. Appreciate it, and and uh, you know, we'll we'll talk to you next time. Yeah, right. All right, bye.